Yo, what's going on guys, this is Bernie again, and in this node tip, we are going to be talking about how to make your APIs accessible to both the public and accessible via a web token. So let me show you the code, how it's set up currently from previous tutorials. Right now we have a router uh, that is used for our API routes. Now we're using a uh, router middleware to protect those routes uh, with token-based authentication. So anytime you access any of the APIs, you have to provide a uh, token uh, that you've been given to get to those routes. So let's show you how that works right now. If I do a uh, API slash test API, um, we're gonna get unauthorized because it's going to this middleware and it's not able to access this test API. Now if I give it the access token here, this is my access token. You can see that it goes ahead and releases that API and gives us the information within it. So what happens if you have one uh, API route that does one thing if they are a public user and one thing if they're using tokens and they're authenticated? So let's go ahead and adjust some of our routes here. So let's go ahead and remove this middleware from the router and put it on the specific route that we're going to use. So right in here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another one actually. Um, we're gonna create a new middleware. So we'll put it right in here. So function, request, response, and next. And then we'll jump down here. So in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if the uh, requesting client has an access token in it. Um, so uh, request, Okay, we'll do an if request.query dot access token. Then go ahead and move on to next. When next means go ahead and move to the passport authentication middleware. Otherwise, what we want to say is go to the next route instead. Don't go skip the next middleware. Go ahead and go to the next route. So. Uh, we'll do route here. So the first case we have is if it goes to the next and it goes through the passport authenticate bear and, and verifies that it is a valid token, then it's going to come up to this function here, this response. And so what we can do here is say uh, authenticated uh, true. This will just be for testing purposes. Next, uh, we're going to create a new router.get. Router.get give it the exact same um, test API and a function request response. And then in this case, res.json, um, we'll give it the exact same information here, except this time we're gonna change authenticated to false. So we'll just go in here and uh, go false. So in order for it to get to this route, it has to do the following. It has to go to the test API. It's going to check to see if the request.access uh, token is available, uh, which it won't be. Um, and so it's going to execute the next route. Uh, the reason why we have to separate these two is because basically when you do next route, it says throw away all of the remaining middlewares in here. And since it can't separate uh, middleware out from an, uh, like an endpoint route, um, it only knows that um, it can go to the next route. So it, ha it has to throw everything in this router.get away and move on to the next route. So um, we are going to copy that test API. And so it will move to this section instead of continuing down to this function or using this middleware. So the first case to test is we are just a public user and all we're gonna do is go to API slash test API. So now we're getting uh, the secret data with authenticated false. So it means it checked this, it moved on to the next route and returned this uh, set of uh, information. Next, let's give it an access to token that is not correct. And of course we get unauthorized. So it checked passport authentication, that failed. And so it uh, the middleware itself took over and replied with an unauthorized request. And finally, let's give it a proper token here. And of course, now we get our data back with authentication equals true. Uh, so it was able to make it through here. It authenticated with the bearer token and replied uh, with this set of data. 
So that's it. Uh, this allows you to give uh, public access to your API is, uh, as well as allowing uh, token-based authentication and being able to uh, change the data delivered or just deliver the same data. Uh, so I hope you uh, learned uh, something in this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. Uh, if you like this tutorial and want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys next time.